Hey everyone, Aja here from Pandemonium. Today's video is going to be a little different. Now, normally in the past I've done tour videos of other people's rigs, but in this video I actually want to do a tour video of a rig that is for sale. I know some of you out there are looking for rigs or some of you just enjoy seeing other rigs. So hopefully you enjoy this video and if you do, please let me know in the comments below and I'll put more videos out like this. Thanks again. I hope you enjoy it. Today we'll be checking out the 3 Series Isada Dynamax, a division of Forest River. This is on a Mercedes chassis. It is a turbo diesel. We'll go ahead and start with the inside of this unit. In the front compartment here, they do have two bucket seats and both of them do pivot or turn around. Like I said, it is on a Mercedes chassis. Wow, I love the whole stereo system and everything. This one does have the bed above, so it is considered a Class C. It is a smaller Class C. I believe this unit is 22 feet with two slides, one in the living room and one in the bedroom. This is the first slide here with two adjustable tables. That is nice. And a leather couch with cup holders and a place for two people to sit. I do like this slide area. It does have the cabinets above. They are smaller. The TV is placed up here right above the door. Kind of a little bit of awkward space for it. And there is a cabinet next to it. More cabinets above the kitchen. Not a lot of room, but it's doable. There is a microwave convection oven. A small sink. Is that molded? A molded surface, countertop. It's not a bad sink. Do dishes in that, but not a whole lot. Has the glass cover. Three propane stove. There are cabinets underneath. Let's see. Just a normal size RV refrigerator that runs on propane. I don't think it's a three-way. Then a cabinet above the refrigerator for food storage or whatever. Oh, soft clothes. Yep, soft clothes, nice. Then they have a wardrobe here. So on this side is the bathroom. Nice stand-up shower, decent space. The toilet is in here as well. It's one unit. And their sink is right here before the bedroom. That is a little awkward placed. Now in the back bedroom, there's not a lot of cabinets on this side. There's one here, one on the opposite side, and the TV in the bedroom. There's about four windows back here. Like I mentioned earlier, the bed is on a slide, which can be inconvenient because most of these are not usable unless the slide is out. I think the bed actually folds. It does. Maybe this doesn't come in all the way and it's still usable. Both vents are Max Air fans. I believe that's Max Air fans are fantastic. And they do close. I like that option. I installed that in mine. It's nice to close off the light. So yeah, that's the overview of this unit. You can go outside and check the storage available out here. They do have a lit up handrail with one automatic step. So right outside the front door, there is a nice big storage area. It's nice and long and they already do include an outdoor rug. That is an automatic awning that almost goes the full length. Most of the windows on the exterior are molded except the ones on the slide. That's nice. They do have the push button latches. This is the Onan generator. It's a 3600. I think they have a pass-through garage storage area. Yeah, that goes all the way through. Wow. Nice and roomy. They even have a rear access for it. Here are both slides. They're pretty deep slides too. And here's the other side. I think this is your water door and electric. Yep, there's shore power. And there's all your dumping 
They do have an outdoor faucet with a nozzle on it. That's always convenient. Cable satellite. This is, oh, exterior entrance. So you just plug that plug in to here. And here's your city water and black tank flush. Nice. What's down here? A very small dumping area. That's where your dump is. That seems like that would be a little tight and hard to get into. Huh. Let's see what's in here. Oh, propane. It says it right above the door. Let's see? Size tank. That is a normal size tank. It does have the gauge here, the external gauge, but I'm sure there's one on the inside as well. This is a blue ox. This is what you flat tow with. Right, that could so go on that unit. So whatever this, you're going to be sticking off the back quite a bit because this is still going to hook into the front of your vehicle. Is there anything that you can tell me about the unit that I might not have noticed? Single owner. They, okay. they bought it new. Because it's a consignment. It's a oh. consignment. Okay. Yes. Most, pretty much 90% of what I have over here is consignment. Okay. So that one was a consignment. It's got 22, uh, 265 is the mileage. So very low mileage. So it does have uh, four point leveling on it already. Generally with something that size, you don't get leveling. The Dynamax is a little bit higher up right. at that like, level. Yeah. It's a full body paint coach. So the exterior is painted, which on a coach like that, it's probably like a ten or $15,000 option. You've got a propane generator on that one. There's solar on the roof already. Um, you've got How much solar? I think it's like 200 watts of solar up there. Now the solar would be expandable on there, okay. but you have um, lithium batteries already on the coach. That's lithium? So the coach batteries are lithium. Starting batteries going to be a regular, you know, okay. deep cycle. Um, what else? Matters? It's got the Truma uh, instant water heater on the side. I don't know if you saw that or not. It is tankless, so you'll get hot water. Right. Really Instantaneous. Fast. Instantaneously. This unit is located at RV Direct America here in Titusville, Florida. And it is running, I believe they're asking for $132,000 and they have dropped the price.